makes two fables dead. We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? I don't know, Snow. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Still a little sticky. Doesn't really help. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. It matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. Secondhand paperbacks, old encyclopedias, dusty. No one's read these in a while. you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. <gasps> oh my god, Rigby, he's alive! What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. What are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that, Snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. 
What's this about? What happened? I don't know. I... Oh, shit. I shot myself in the heart. I oh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. Probably had a lung. Great. At least that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away, but she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me, without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. Go away. Just fucking go away. Someone heard a gunshot, and we're following up on it. You're following up on a gunshot from a week ago? Hey, we're a little backed up at the office. Huh. This isn't about a gunshot. This is about faith, isn't it? Lawrence, I, uh... Do you... Are you expecting anyone? I'll see who it is. No, wait! We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about your wife. Give me back the gun, just in case. Where's my wife, you motherfucker? Hey, listen. You don't want to do this, man. What did you do with my wife? I don't know what you're talking about, okay? I'm just a guy looking for answers, too. Hey! Hey! Stop! Leave me alone!
He's up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You... son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. What were you doing back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down... leads. What kind of leads? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. <laughs> Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Just leave me here. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad, see if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse in the day. I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. All right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Is that his son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. What's going on? What do you mean? Nothing's going on, Big V. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm is all. Sorry. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. Someone was here, and something's going on. And just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. I have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but 
Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could, perhaps, let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Your lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. And the lamp's broke, too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. You know, with this place, it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap, it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. People think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, but I'm worried. He has two huge bruises on his arms. He won't tell me why, and he acted nervous when I brought it up. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. I need to get a dustpan one of these days. <laughs> you bleeding? Why? You say it's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. That more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? If you're gonna say something, out with it! That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I did it. some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Could do a better job dusting, I oh, know. So what happened? What happened? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Wade, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? 
I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight. And I don't know why you cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not! And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I... No, there's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plumb forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. The new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? But you wouldn't need keys since the lock's broken. So why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Big B, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. Toad? These stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, Maybe he wouldn't have the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get here. What if he'd done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. What did you tell him? Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. 
We were merely repossessed what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Don't make it a dilemma. Just open it! I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know. Someone who will know where to find it. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way.